Hey guys, uh, we're going to be looking at how to create a box and whisker plot and a dot plot using NZ Grapher. Uh, before we start, a big thanks to Jake Wills, uh, the man that actually made this website, and he's actually made it free, so which is pretty awesome. All right, so to find this, uh, just go into Google and look for NZ Grapher. All right, so, and you should come up with NZ Grapher Jake for Maths. So if you click on that, you should get to his um, get to the main page. Now in here, as you can see, there's a whole lot of little black boxes. If you want to get rid of it, just click anywhere on the screen, and it gets rid of those um, black boxes. So what we want to do is we want to get rid of all of this data here. So if you go right to the top corner here, top left corner, where it says data source, if you click on that, click on empty data set for editing. And you should end up with a screen like this. So what you want to do is, uh, let's say you're working with um, heights of rugby players uh, between New Zealand and South Africa. What you want to do is uh, change this box here, which says number. So get rid of that replace with height and then in group replace it with country because we're actually looking between New Zealand and South Africa I mean this is an example so what you would do is you would put in the heights let's say it's 182 on four okay, that's a bit too high let's go with 201 maybe 165 and then in countries we're gonna we'll change that to New Zealand, South Africa. Yeah, so that's basically what you can do. Now, let's say if you're working with uh, heights between males and females, what you can do is you can just write height in this column, but instead of country, just replace that with sex and make that males. females and, and so on so as I was saying before guys just once you enter your data make sure you click on save changes so now to create a um, dot plot for this if you go to graph type right here click on dot plot and as you can see it says you must select a numerical x variable so the x variable is here so if you click on that, click on height, you should see your dot plot. Let me just adjust this a little bit. So the problem is all of New Zealand and South Africa is put together here. So we want to separate it. And if we want to separate it, just go into Y variable and just click on country. So as you can see, uh, New Zealand's data is separated with South Africa's data. So a little bit more uh, detail is that if you click on blocks, box plots right here, you will see the box plot. And you can also just click on um, summaries at the top here. And you should see your five point summary, which is your minimum, lower quartile, median, upper quartile, and max. Um, obviously you wanna add a bit of, if you wanna add a title, just where it says title, just Add a title, let's say in this case we're going to work, uh, what do we say, should we go with height of rugby players in New Zealand and South Africa. Mm, you might want to add the units for height, in this case it's in meters. And just click on update graph. So... At this point, if you want to save this graph um, somewhere, you can save it as an image. Just click on download image. And I think in other places you can actually go save images, save image as. So if you just click on open image and new tab, I think this is what it'll look like. And of course, if you want to print it, you can just print it straight away. Or you can just do save image as. Okay. Uh, that's about it, and that's how you use um, NZ Grapher for uh, to create a box, box and whisker plot and a dot plot. 
And once again, thanks, Jake Wolf, for making this program for us. Cheers.